sa ating pagdiriwang ngayong gabi. Ang gabi pong ito ay gabi ng mga Pilipino na nagdiriwang sa unang-unang santo na mula sa ating bayan. At ito po ay ipinagpapasalamat natin sa Panginoon. At uh, pinasasalamatan po natin ang ating chair ng uh, Santo Nino, uh, ng uh, San Lorenzo Ruiz na si Marina Maranan. Ang uh, Santo Nino po ay under ng auspices ng Simbang Gabi. Isa po ito sa mga original na subsets na o mga original na mga anak mula sa Simbang Gabi kasama po doon ang piyesta ng Santo Nino, ang Salubong at iba pang mga pagdiriwang ng Pilipino. Kaya nagpapasalamat po tayo sa leadership ng Simbang Gabi at uh, sa atin pong lahat na naririto at nakikiisa sa ating bayang Pilipino, sa ating misang Pilipino ngayong gabi. Uh, I just would like to give you a little background for those of you who are not familiar with San Lorenzo Ruiz. St. Lorenzo Ruiz or or as we fondly call him, San Lorenzo Ruiz, was born around the year 1600 in Binondo in the city of Manila in the Philippines. He was the son of a Chinese father and a Filipino mother. Both were Christians and took care to raise Lorenzo as a Catholic. He served happily in his parish as an altar boy and calligrapher. As a young man, Lorenzo joined the Dominican Confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. Later, he married a woman named Rosario, and the happy couple had three children, two sons and a daughter. By all accounts, the family was ordinary and happy. In 1636, Lorenzo was accused of murder. Allegedly, he killed the Spaniard. However, to protect his safety at the time, he fled home and found refuge on board a ship with three Dominican priests and a leper. There were no details of this alleged crime other than a journal entry by two Dominican priests that he joined their group to escape possible arrest. The ship departed the Philippines on June 10, 1636, bound for Okinawa. A shock awaited the holy passengers when they arrived in Japan. At the time of their arrival, the, rules, the rulers of Japan, the Tokugawa shogunate, were persecuting Christians. Prior to this persecution, the Christian population of Japan was thought to be number 50,000 souls. Now, Lorenzo was arrested by Japanese officials for the crime of being a Christian and ordered to recant his faith. When he refused, he was imprisoned for two years. On September 27, 1637, Lorenzo and his companions were taken to Nagasaki to be tortured and killed if they would not recant their faith. Lorenzo and his companions were tortured by water, which was forced into their mouths and down their throats and out their noses and ears. Despite the painful torture, the man refused to do so. Following this, Lorenzo was hanged upside down with a rope around his ankles. This method of torture was known as churushi or gallows and pit. The torture forces a person to be hanged upside down with a gash cut in their forehead to prevent too much blood from gathering in the head. The gash also caused the victim to bleed to death over an extended, extended period of time. 
Those who have survived the torture have said it is unbearable. On one hand is left, one hand is left free so the victim can offer an agreed symbol that will represent their desire to recant their faith. Those few who recant are spared and allowed to live. But few people ever recanted, choosing instead to die for their faith. Lorenzo refused to recant. According to the record of his death, his last words were, I am a Catholic and wholeheartedly do accept death for God. Had I a thousand lives, all this to him I shall offer. Do with me as you please. His traveling companions were all killed steadfast until the end. Lorenzo was beatified by Pope John Paul II on February 18, 1981. The beatification ceremony was held in the Philippines, making it the first beatification ceremony ever held outside the Vatican. A miracle attributed to his intercession occurred in 1983. A two-year-old girl, Alegria Policarpio, suffered from hydrocephaly, a condition she had since birth. She was miraculously cured. His canonization took place at the Vatican on October 18, 1987. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, is the patron saint of Filipino youth, the Philippines, people working overseas, and altar servers. His feast day is September 28. Panalangin para kay San Lorenzo at mga kasama. Amang mapagmahal ang iyong anak na, Hes na si Heso Kristo ay naghandog ng kanyang buhay para sa kaligtasan ng sanlibutan. Kasihan kami ng iyong pag-ibig upang maihandog ang aming buhay para sa iyo at sa aming kapwa-tao. Inakay rin ng mapagpala mong kamay ang iyong mga lingkod na sina San Lorenzo Ruiz at mga kasama sa lupain ng hapon upang tularan ang sakripisyo ni Kristo at ipamansag ang mabuting balita ng kaligtasan. Isinasamo namin na sa pamamagitan ng panalangin ng mga banal na martir na kami maging matatag sa pananampalataya tulad nila at maging kasangkapan ng pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita sa aming bayan at sa mga bansang nasa paligid namin. Dinggin mo ang aming kahilingan at ang mga biyayang aming hinihingi. Kaisa ni San Lorenzo Ruiz at mga kasamang banal, hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Heso Kristo na aming Panginoon. Amen.
Ang bayang Pilipino ngayon ay nagsasaya Isang sugo sa langit, tayo ay mayroon na Magandang gabi sa ating lahat. Umpisa natin banal na pagdiriwang ng misa sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Sumayin niyo ang Panginoon. Mga kapatid, magpasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos sa araw nito, sa gabing ito. Sa pagdiriwang natin ang banal na Eucharistia. Let's celebrate this 26th Sunday in ordinary time and we integrate this celebration are the feast of San Lorenzo Cruz. And we thank God for the gift of our saint. And uh, may our saint continue to inspire us to follow our Lord Jesus, even to the point of giving up our lives and ourselves. As we prepare ourselves for this celebration, as we acknowledge the faults in our sins, we ask the Lord for mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in, my, in what I have done and what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Sa dagilang 
Manalangin tayo, ama naming makapangyarihan, ang iyong pinakadakilang magagawa ay magpatawad, at ang iyong laging ipinakikita ay pagkahabag. Padaluyin mo sa aming walang humpay ang kagandahang loob mong sa aming inilaan, upang sa pagkakamit namin sa pangako mong bigay, kami gawin mong kasalo sa ikipagkakalob mo sa kalangitan. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpas sa walang hanggan. Amen. Pagbasa sa aklat, ni Propeta Ezekiel. Ito ang sinasabi ng Panginoon. Hindi matuwid wika ninyo ang pakikitungo ng Panginoon. Kaya makinig ka o sambayan, sambayanan ng Israel. Di yata't di matuwid ang aking pakikitungo. Hindi ba ang inyong pamumuhay ang siyang di matuwid Kapag ang banal ay lumayo sa kanyang kabanalan at gumawa ng kabuktutan, ay mamamatay siya. Mamamatay siya dahil sa kabuluktutang ginawa niya. Kung ang makasalanan ay lumayo sa kasalanan niya upang gumawa ng matuwid at banal, maiiligtas niya ang kanyang sariling buhay. Kung siya ay magbubulay-bulay at lalayo sa lahat ng mga kasalanan niya, tiyak na mabubuhay siya at hindi mamamatay. Ito ang salita ng Diyos. Puni yung puni 
Awit ako ay turuan Ituro mo po ng katotohanan Tagapagligtas ko na inaasahan Oo, niyong gunitain Wagas mong pag-ibig Pag-ibig mong wagas At ang kabutihang noon pa'y nahayag Patawarin ako sa pagkakasala Sa kamalian ko noong ako'y bata pa Pagkat pag-ibig mo'y hindi nagmamaliw Ako sana poon ay alalahanin Niyong gunitain Wagas mong pag-ibig sa'kin Mabuti yung puon at makatanungan Sa mga salariguro at patnubay Sa mababang loob siya yaong gapay at nagtuturo ng kanyang kalooban. Oo, niyong gumintain, wagas mong pag-ibig sa'kin. Pagbasa sa sulat ni San Pablo Apostol sa mga taga Pilipos. Mga kapatid, kung kayo'y may anumang kaaliwan kay Kristo, kung may anumang kasiglahan ng pag-ibig, kung may anumang pagkakaisa ng Espiritu, kung may malugod na pagkahabag, Lubusin ninyo ang inyong kagalakan sa pagkakaisa ninyo ng isipan, pag-ibig, kalooban, at damdamin. Huwag kayong gumawa ng anumang bagay na udyog ng pagtatalo o ng kayabangan. At sa halip, buong kababaang loob, ipalagay na ang isa't isa ay nakahigit pa sa sarili. Huwag hanapin ang ikabubuti ng sarili, kundi ang ikabubuti ng iba. Taglayin ninyo ang mga damdamin na tinaglay din ni Kristo Jesus, na bagaman na sa anyong Diyos, ay hindi niya inangkin ang matulad sa Diyos. Sa halip, ay pinawi niya ang sarili, nag-anyong alipin, at tumulad sa mga tao. Sa anyong tao ay nagpakababa siya, at sumunod hanggang kamatayan, sa, sa kamatayan man sa krus. Dahil dito ay itinampok niya ang Diyos at binigyan ng pangalan ang higit sa alinmang pangalan na anupat sa ngalan ni Jesus ay maninikluhod ang lahat ng nasa langit sa lupa at sa ilalim ng lupa at ipahahayag ng lahat ng dila na si Kristo ang Panginoon sa ikaluluwalhati ng Diyos Ama. Ang salita ng Diyos.
Ang balita ng Panginoon ayon kay San Mateo. Noong panahong iyon, sinabi ni Jesus sa mga punong saserdote at mga matatanda ng bayan, Ano ang palagay ninyo rito? May isang tao na may dalawang anak na lalaki. Lumapit siya sa nakatanda at sinabi, Anak, lumabas ka at magtrabaho sa ubasan ngayon. Ayoko po, tugon niya. Ngunit nagbago ang kanyang isip at siya ay naparoon. Lumapit din ang ama sa ikalawa at gayon din ang kanyang sinabi. Opo, tugon nito. Ngunit hindi naman naparoon. Sino sa dalawa ang sumunod sa kalooban ng kanyang ama? Ang nakatatanda po, Sagot nila, Sinabi sa kanila ni Jesus, Sinasabi ko sa inyo, Ang mga publikano at masasamang babae na uuna pa sa inyong pasako sa paghahari ng Diyos, sapagat naparito sa inyo si Juan at ipinakilala ang matuwid na pamumuhay at hindi ninyo siya pinaniwalaan. Ngunit, Pinaniwalaan siya ng mga publikano at ng mga masasamang babae. Nakita ninyo ito, subalit hindi pa rin kayo nagsisi at naniwala sa Kanya. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Pinupuri ka namin, Panginoong Yesu Christ. Sa so magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. So kanina po habang uh, nagsasayaw ang ating mga liturgical dancers, sinasayaw nila si San Lorenzo. Dapat po siya ay nakatayo dito. Kaya sa sobrang pagkahilo ni San Lorenzo, dinala doon kaya pinalitan siya ng kanyang kuya. Kaya mas malaki ito ngayon nandito sa ating harapan ngayon. Sa mga kapatid, pinararangalan natin ang ating uh, santo, ang banal na santo, our saint of, uh, first Filipino saint, proto-martyr, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz who offered his life for the sake of his faith. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz who uh, at the bring of death, at the point of death, even when death was imminent because of the tortures and, uh, and the execution, remains steadfast in his faith. And we can say that he was obedient unto death, obedient to the will of God, obedient to Christ as a follower up to the point of death. And we recall what St. Paul in, the, in his letter to the Philippians today was saying, 
Jesus humbled himself. He did not deem equality with God something to be grasped up, but rather he emptied himself, became like us. And then he will offer his life. to the. He humbled himself up to the point of offering himself to death, dying for us. And it is the same is the same thing that our dear saint, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, had done. As he was given the grace and the gift of firm faith and resolve to persevere in faith. So being obedient to the will of God, even to the point of death. Many brothers and sisters in Christ today, we have this gospel. It's about, well, about saying yes to God. Well, it's about the story. Our Lord Jesus uh, gave this story, this parable about his two sons. And of course, parents are very familiar with, the, with this when you would uh, ask your kids, your children, utusan nyo sila. Utusan nyo? Okay. So, pag uh, hindi sumusunod, utusan mo yung anak mo, tapos hindi sumusunod, anong gagawin no? Titignan mo siya, no? titignan mo siya, makuha ka sa tingin. Yan, ganun yung kinuha natin. Pag hindi sumunod, pag uh, sumunod naman, tuwang-tuwa tayo. So we are familiar with this parable of the two sons who was asked to uh, work in the vineyard and then one said yes, but he did not go. And the other said no, no way. But nonetheless, he will, uh, he will be going to work in the vineyard of the Lord. And who of these two did the will of his father. And of course, obviously, it was the, first, uh, it was the second, said no eventually. Historically, of course, and biblically, our Lord Jesus was referring to describe the Pharisees, the Jews, the chosen people of God who were asked first to work in the vineyard, saying yes, but eventually they didn't say no, or they didn't do it. And of course, eventually, the kingdom of God has been opened to the people, to the Gentiles, the tax collectors, the sinners, prostitutes, and, every, and to everyone. And they became obedient to the will and plan of God. I remember when, um, before I came here, that was uh, as a pastor of St. Genevieve, I was uh, at Queen of Angels in Lompoc. And I remember that was a holy Thursday. I was at Costco pushing my cart. So I was uh, buying some stuff for the uh, rectory for the parish. And then I heard my phone ringing. And then afterwards, I, okay, so I saw, oh, it was it's coming from the Archdiocese. And it was uh, Monsignor Jim Haley. And then I answered, I, I answered the phone and Monsignor said, Father Lawrence, and then he asked me, how are you? And uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, Father Lawrence, we are assigning you. The Archbishop has uh, requested you to go to St. Genevieve. Oh, my. So my heart started pounding. Okay, my God. It was not part of my plan, okay? It was not part of my plan because I have one year more at my Paris. And then afterwards, I'll be having an option to choose from among the parishes that will be open eventually after my term, my first term as pastor for six years and then three years, total of uh, eight years in that parish. But anyway, so I asked Monsignor Jim, do you, do you want my answer right now? Oh, no, no, no. There's no rush about it. You can give your answer on Easter Sunday. Of a kind of resurrection, okay? Oh, parang rekura, parang ang kwan eh, parang dating talaga resurrection. So, but anyway, I started to discern. I started to pray when I went home, and that really struck me. I really prayed and then uh, discern. And it didn't take me long to call back Monsignor Jim Haley again, and then told him. Okay, today is Holy Thursday, and we're supposed to be celebrating the institution of the Eucharist, and likewise, uh, we're celebrating our priesthood. And so it is within this context that I'm giving my yes, being obedient to the bishop, so the archbishop, of course, who uh, is uh, signing us to parishes. And then he was so happy about it. Okay, thank you, my friend. And then afterwards, I was... Uh, 
I was kind of uh, asking myself again, did I really say yes? Did I really say yes? Because <laughs> see, afterwards, after some days or weeks, ano, so maraming matumatawag, okay? Alam mo yung sinasabi sa akin, mga problema eh. <laughs> problema eh, mga dumarating sa aking uh, one. So, anyway, so, one, so, a friend, he told me, ang oh, aking problems dito sa St. Genevieve, sabi niya ganun. But then I told him, okay, well, I'm being sent. I'm being sent not to a problem. I'm being sent to a community. I'm being sent to a people. I'm being sent to these people of God here at St. Genevieve. And it is not uh, my call, but it is the call of the Lord. It's through so the bishop. And so parang uh, kinokonsol ko na lang yata sarili ko noon. Okay? So at any rate, of course, I, uh, I said yes to serve, to minister to this beautiful and wonderful parish of St. Genevieve. Because of the community, of course, will inspire. It's one of us, Father Al and I, and Father Yesu is still in India right now, lockdown. But uh, with your support, with your assistance, we can always say yes, right? So, sama-sama tayo magsasabi, mag, uh, mag, maglalakbay bilang isang sambayan ng Kristiyano as one Christian community. We all together say yes. To the Lord. And it is not just me saying yes. When I said yes, it was kind of uh, people are also saying yes. And with your warm welcome, so we were inspired, very encouraged to serve and to, of course, to do the will of God in the context of St. Genevieve Church. And of course, it inspires us when we see you encouraging us when we see you showing your support. And a lot of people, a lot of you had called, had talked to me and talked to us, Father, we will be here for you. We are here, we are ready to help you. And it inspires us. And then, of course, encourages me to say continually yes, to become obedient to the will of the Father. And so being encouraged by the community and by the people, of course. Which is, of course, one of the aspects of uh, St. Lorenzo Ruiz's um, response to that call to obey the will of God. You know how painful, you know how difficult, you know how excruciating the pain was when he was being, exec uh, when he was being tortured. And then there was a time that he was tempted to give up, and he was even asking Asking one of the friars or Lazarus, what will, what will they do if I give up? Will they save my life? But afterwards, he reflected, he prayed, and then said, no, I will not. And so when the governor uh, in, the, in Nagasaki asked him, are you now giving up your faith? No, I am a Christian, as we have heard. I am a Christian, I am a Catholic. And I will remain a Catholic. I remain a Christian. And I will never give up my faith. If I had a thousand lives, I will offer them, all of them, to the Lord. He was kind of uh, encouraged likewise, inspired by his companions. There were those who really kind of gave up their faith, but most of them, the friars, and eventually one of them, a lay also, Lazaro, kind of... Uh, um, was uh, rec uh, he recanted at first and, it, and then afterwards he uh, professed his faith and he was encouraged by their faith. So it is not just a personal saying yes, but it is a collective, as a community. So it's a group, you may say a group of Christians, a group of Catholics trying to encourage each other. So the friars, the Dominicans trying to encourage. San Lorenzo, and eventually himself will make his ultimate yes to God, an ultimate option to say yes to the Lord, saying, yes, I am a Christian and I will remain a Christian. And likewise for us, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, whenever we say yes, we are not alone. We are not alone. We are together. We are in this together, even during this time of pandemic, so we always hear that, uh, those words. 
We are in this together. And so we journey together. And our faith, our example, how we live our faith can inspire its one of us. Our faith and how we live our discipleship can encourage each one as we go on listening, submitting our will to God and following Him. Because obedience, when we try to look into this uh, word obedience, comes from the, from the word obedere, Latin word, which means listen, to listen. And so being obedient to the will of God is to listen to Him. And we can only listen to God in prayer. We can only listen His words if we are in prayer, if we have in the silence of our hearts, we'll listen to His word, whatever His will and plan for us. And likewise, obedience means um, surrendering, submitting, or being a subject to. And we subject ourselves to God. And so we surrender our will, not my will, but your will be done. Our Lord Jesus himself told, uh, told uh, uh, of course, uttered these words, I came not to do my own will, but to do the will of my Father who sent me. And then, of course, obedience will also mean to follow. So we continue to follow. And this is what St. Lorenzo Ruiz showed us, even to the point of death, being obedient unto death, offering his life. And so may we be able to emulate the example of St. Lorenzo Ruiz. And may we, and we pray for that grace that we may be obedient to the will of God, saying yes. Like Mary, our blessed mother, saying in her fiat, let it be done according to thy word. And so we say yes, then we mean our yes. Yes to the will and plan of God. And so we pray, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Amen. <clears throat> Let us now all together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at main, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made for us men for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Mga kapatid, hingin natin sa Diyos na kayanin nating isalin sa kilos ang ating mga salitang binitawan sa Kanya. Para sa bawat kahilingan ay ating itutugon, Ama, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Para sa mga namumuno sa simbahan, upang maisabuhay nila ang kanilang mga panata sa Diyos na kanilang binitiwan sa araw na naitalaga sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan ng Diyos. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dinggin mong aming panalangin. Para sa mga namumuno sa ating bansa, lalo na sa panahong ito ng COVID-19 pandemic, upang ang kanilang mga sinumpaan sa pagtatalaga sa kanila 
sa kanilang tungkulin sa bayan ay maisali nila sa gawa para sa ikapapanuto ng tanan. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Para sa lahat ng mga gumagawa sa ating mga pagamutan at nagsisikap na sugpuin ang pagkalat ng COVID-19 pandemic at para na rin sa mga kawani ng pamahalaang nagpapanatili ng kaayusan sa ating lipunan upang palakasin ng Espiritong Banal ang kanilang mga loob sa pagtupad sa kanilang mga sinumpaan para sa ikabubuti ng bayan at ng sangkatauhan. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Pang Ama, dinggan mo ang aming panalangin. Para sa ating lahat na mga Kristiyano, upang sa taong ito ng ekonomismo, ay ating maipatupad sa kilos ang mga simulain at pagtuturo ng ikalawang Konselyo Batikano para sa panunumbalik ng pagkakaisa sa simbahan. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dingin mong aming panalangin. Para sa lahat ng tumulong sa mga mandaragat sa buong mundo upang maging laging handa silang maglingkod para sa ikabubuti ng lahat, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dingin mo ang aming panalangin. Para sa ating lahat na nananalangin sa linggong ito, upang malampasan natin ang magagandang salita lamang na hindi naman namamalas sa ating pakikitungo sa Diyos at sa kapwa, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dingin mo ang aming panalangin. Para sa mga may sakit, Rosemary Webb, Edgar Villamar, Teresita Bersales, Emilio Aguilar, Georgina Aguilar, tulung tulungan mo po silang labanan ang mga karamdaman ng katawan, puso at kaluluwa upang maipagpatuloy pa nila ang mga mabubuting gawain at mga balakin na kanilang ginagawa. Bigyan mo po sila ng kalak kalakasan upang makabangon sila sa banig ng karamdaman. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dinggan mo ang aming panalangin. Para sa mga yumao, Lourdes de Guzman, Eddie Mendoza Jr., Richard Bosco Pinaranda, Lydia Aguinaldo, Pinaranda Osario and Estilita and Ananais Reyes. Pagpalainawa sila ng Panginoon at ingatan. Paliwanagi nawa ng Panginoon ang kanilang mukha at pagkalooban siya, sila ng kapayapaang walang hanggan. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dingin mo ang aming panalangin. Pagdasal po natin ang ating mga sariling intention. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, dinggan mo ang aming panalangin. Panginoon, dinggan mo ang aming mga panalangin kaysa ni San Lorenzo Ruiz, mga kasama. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo na aming Panginoon. Amen. Do 
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Amen. 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 Amen.
Kami umaasang tutugunin mo ang kanilang dal dalangin na iyong pagdamutan na tanggapin ang mga alay na pagsasaluhan sa banal na piging. Iniluluhog namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan. Sumayin nyo ang Panginoon. Itaas sa Diyos sa inyong puso at diwa. Pasalamatan natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Marapat naming makap ama naming makapangyarihan, tunay nga marapat na ikaw ay aming pasalamatan ngayong aming kagalakan na, na si San Lorenzo ay parangalan. Siya ay kapanalig naming may paninindigan na ikaw ay pahayag kahit siya ay mamatay. Sapagkat minarapat mong kanyang matularan ang iyong anak na naghain ng sariling buhay. Tulad ng naganap sa iyong anak, ang dugo ng mga martir ay dumanak hindi dahil sa katatagang likas, kundi dahil sa iyong bigay na lakas. Kaya kaysa na mga anghel na nagsisiawit ng papuri sa iyo ng walang humpay sa kalangitan, kami nagbubunyoy sa iyong kadakilaan. Manaming banal, ikaw ang bukalang tanang kabanalan. Kaya sa pamamagitan ng Espiritu, gawin mong banal ang mga kaloob nito upang para sa aming maging katawan na dugo ng aming Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Bago niya pinagtiisan kusang loob na maging handog, hinawa kanyang tinapay, pinasalamatan kanya. Pinaghati-hati niya iyon, inabot sa kanyang mga lagad at sinabi, Tanggapin ninyong lahat ito at kanin, ito ang aking katawan na yahandog para sa inyo. Gayun din naman matapos ang hapunan, hinawa kanyang kalis, muli kanyang pinasalamatan. Iniabot niyang kalis sa kanyang mga lagad at sinabi, Tanggapin niyong lahat ito at inumin. Ito ang kalis ng aking dugo ng bago at walang hanggang tipan. Ang aking dugo ay bubuhos para sa inyo at para sa lahat sa kapagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. Gawin niyo ito sa pag sa akin. Ipagunyan natin ang misteryo ng pananampalataya. Ang ginagawa namin ay napag-alala sa pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ng iyong anak. Kaya tiniyaalay namin sa iyo ang tinapay na nagbibigay buhay at ang kalis na nagkakaloob ng kaligtasan. Kami nagpapasalamat dahil kami yung minarapat na tumayo sa harap mo para maglingkod sa iyo. E sinasamo namin kami magsasalo-salo sa katawan na dugo ni Kristo ay mabuklod sa pagkakaisa sa pamamagitan ng Espiritu Santo. 
Amalingapin mo yung simbahang laganap sa buong daigdig, puspusin mo kami sa pag-ibig kay San Francisco na aming Papa, ni Jose, na aming Arsobispo at ng Tanang Kaparian. Alalahanin mo rin ang mga kapatid naming naimlalan na ipag-asang sila'y muling mabubuhay, ganyan din na lahat ng mga pumanaw. Kaawaan mo sila at patuloyin sa iyong kaliwanagan. Kaawaan mo at pagindapatin kaming lahat na makasalo sa iyong buhay na walang wakas. Kaysa ng mahal na Birheng Maria na ina ng Diyos, kasama ni San Jose ng kanyang kabiyak, kaysa ng mga apostol sa lahat ng mga banal na nabuha dito sa daigdig ng kalugod-lugod sa iyo. May pagdiwang nawa namin ang pagpupuri sa ikaralangal mo sa pamamagitan ng iyong anak naming Panginoong si Yesu Cristo. Sa pamamagitan ni Cristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawalang hanggang Sa tagubilin na nakagagaling na utos sa turo ni Yesus na Panginoon natin na Diyos, ipahayag natin ng lakas loob. Kaming kami yadya sa lahat ng masama, pagkalooban ng kapayapaan araw-araw, iligtas sa kasalanan, at ilayo sa lahat ng kapahamakan. Samantalang aming pinananabika ng dakilang araw ng pagpapahayag ng tagapagligtas naming si Yesu Kristo. Panginoong Yesu Kristo, sinabi mo sa iyong mga apostol, kapayapaan ang iniiwan ko sa inyo, ang aking kapayapaan ang ibinibigay ko sa inyo. Tunghayan mo ang aming pananampalataya at huwag ang aming pagkakasala. Pagkalooban mo kami ng kapayapaan at pagkakaisa ayon sa iyong kalooban, kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan. Ang kapayapaan ng Panginoon ay sumain niyong lahat. Bigyan tayo ng kapayapaan ni Kristo sa isa't sa kapayapaan.
Narito ang kordero ng Diyos, ito nagalis ang kasalanan ng sanlibutan, mapapalad ang mga inanyayahan sa kanyang piging. Panginoon, hindi ako rapat dapat na magpatuloy sa iyo, ngunit sa isang salita mo lamang gagaling na ako. Ako'y muling ibang mo At 
masakang maglilingkod sa iyo. Aming pangarap ko, sana'y bigyang daan sa landas ko. Hawiin ang buhawi at kulog, ang ulat na nagsisilbing dilim sa langit ko. Tunawin at kawing ulan na ang sa buhay kong tigang, mula sa pagkakasadlak, ako'y muling ibangon mo. Manalangin tayo. Ama naming mapagmahal, amin ang pinagsaluhan ang haing nagbibigay buhay habang panahon kaming lilingon sa iyo dahil sa lahat ng iyong awa at biyaya. Bilang tugon sa dalangin ng mga banal na martir na sina San Lorenzo Ruiz at mga kasamahan, malapati mong kami makarating sa kaluwal hati ang inilaan mo sa amin. Iniluluhog namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Yesu Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, in case it's a census ba, meron pang, kan? do you still have Papasalam. something to say? Dali lang. Momento. Wala na? Okay. All right. go ahead. Magpapasalamat lamang po tayo sa mga naghandog ng kandila na si Agnes Gulingay at si Lita Fabiosa. Sa mga naghandog ng bulaklak, si Rizzi, Revy at Ralton Kanko ang nagbigay po ng special na envelope, si Tita Rita Naujan. Uh, ang mga iba pong nag-alay pa ng mga Uh, mga fruits and other things si 
Edna and Max Sales, Primo and Betty Sum and Becky Sumagaysay, Noel and Marian Omega, Bubut Anderson and Nino De, Lu De Luna. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mayroon pong kaunting uh, refreshment pag pagkatapos ng pagbabasbas. Salamat po. Okay, sa pasalamatan din natin ating mga liturgical dancers. Okay, sa pasalamatan natin, palapakanan sila. At sa lahat ng mga nangasiwa sa mga coordinators para sa pagdiriwang ito, pasalamatan din natin si uh, Father Al bilang isa sa mga nagprepara uh, para dito. And of course, we thank our uh, cantors and uh, organists and our lector, Eucharistic ministers and our, for the sound system, si Christian. So, okay na okay ang ating sound system. And of course, Steve as our uh, live streaming operator. So, salamat po sa inyong lahat. Salamat sa inyong pagdalo. Uh, Nawa itong uh, pagdiriwang nito magsilbing inspirasyon at encouragement sa atin para sa ating uh, buhay bilang mga lagad at disipulo nating Panginoon sa Kristo. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. Sumayin niyo ang Panginoon. Pagpalain kayo ng makapangyarihang Diyos, Sama, Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Tapos ng Misa, humayo kayo sa pag-ibig at kapayapaan ng Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Sa Diyos at inang bayan Yayang kami sa iyo'y dinaiba Balahin ang ikabalan Iisang bansa aming pinagmulan Perlas ng silangan Tulungan mo, tulungan mo Akayin mo, akayin mo kami sa tulang Sa Diyos at inang bayan Sa iyo bayan, ikaw ang ni Jesus Atas niya'y natupad Sana kami laging maging tapat Huwag nang masinda Inang bayan sa lubos at ganap na pagtataya sa Dios at inang bayan. Viva San Lorenzo! Viva San Lorenzo! Mabuhay ang Saint Genevieve! Mabuhay tayong lahat!